Now, when we started to look at creating something different around engineering here, uh, we uh, really uh, had to look hard at where we could get the resources to create a center such as this. Uh, I was put on that pathway in a visit with Dick Godwin, who's in the audience today, to see Helmut Klaas, who really gave us the industry's perspective of what was needed in agricultural engineering in the future. So not just looking backwards, but into the future. And it was around mechatronics, hydraulics, the clean engineering that we now undertake in this building. So what have we done with that uh, work? Well, we've, I'm saying to the minister earlier, had two students who won the Farming by Satellite competition at SEMA in 2013. We had the Douglas Bonford Trust running an event last November which saw over 300 people in this lecture theater. There were so many in another lecture theater on campus looking at uh, ways in which we could encourage young people to think about a career in agricultural engineering. And that young audience was really, I think, inspired by the practical demonstrations that they saw here. We've had research programs developed with many companies represented at this event. Simon Blackmore has been on the road presenting <coughs> a vision of farming in the future that will impact less on the environment whilst becoming more efficient. And I think we've seen some examples of that today. <coughs> So once again, I'm delighted that we now have the opportunity to formally open the building. Minister, we're very grateful for you spending your time here today with us to see some of our work. And may I now ask you to say a few words in the conducting the opening ceremony. Thank you. I'm pleased to see one of our really top uh, agricultural universities playing a leading role in this area, not only in developing new innovative technologies, but also in applying and translating that knowledge to our farmers. Uh, and many of us this morning have seen technology in action uh, in the seminar on uh, unmanned aerial systems. It's encouraging that uh, UAVs, for example, are already being applied in agriculture, whether in yield prediction, uh, cattle tracking, estimating crop growth and food quality, but there's lots more, as we've been hearing, uh, still to be done and to be exploited with this sort of technology. There we go.